Good morning. We're here with Excel Media TV, Bishop T.D. Jakes, book, book signing for the book Crushing. We are honored and excited to celebrate with him all the crushing events in his life. And we're here with some people who are here to get their book signed, and we're just wanting to find out what this moment means to them. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. You've traveled far this morning to come to the book signing for? Not too far. I live over in Jersey City, so a train ride away. So mm -hmm. tell us what this means to you. This is such a wonderful moment. My mother raised us on T.D. Jakes. Uh, we've been watching him since he was in West Virginia. Um, we catch him every Sunday. I, I know I should be in church, but there's no better church service than watching him via internet. And so to actually be here, I'd been waiting for this book. I'd been listening to him talk about it every Sunday and um, just talk about the things he's experienced in his own life helps me to know that no matter what is going on with us, whether it's my mother's health or I'm, I'm able to be here with my mom's aide and my sister, you know, we just talk about it all the time that it's such a, he's such an inspiration. Um, just to look at his ha his life, he's not only walk talking the talk, but he's walking the walk, and so it's just a pleasure to be here today. Thank you so much. Who's going to get the most impact out of this, Mom? <laughs> I think my mother. She's been, you know, she she's a retired minister herself, and so she's instilled so much in us. But she's used him along the way to reinforce her teaching. So definitely, my mom. Okay. Thank you so much. We're still here at the signing of the Crushing Book with Bishop T.D. Jakes, and we want to talk to one of the bishop who has traveled here to meet Bishop and to have his book signed. Bishop Al, can you tell us what this moment means to you? This is an exciting moment that we have in this time um, to be with Bishop T.D. Jakes as he debuted this book called The Crushing that God is going to turn our pressure into power. We want to say blessings to the XL Media team. We are doing a, such a fabulous job going around the globe, getting these powerful events and sharing it to the world. God bless you. I've just watched last week's Sunday service and you have been there for me yes. over the years. I have reached a point of mental illness. And um, for those people who are going through crushing moments in their life with mental illness, what advice do you have for them? You know, our mental health is just like the rest of our bodies. One of the things that I have learned as a leader is that the brain is no different from the kidneys, the lung, or the liver. We are quick to do whatever we need to do, medication, treatments, therapy, when it comes to something physical, but we are not as apt to take care of ourselves emotionally as we should. We won't let the brain be a part of the body. The brain is a part of the body. Whether you need uh, chemical uh, help, need prescriptions made, or whether you need somebody to talk to, your emotional health is so important. You can feel good in your body, you can have money in the bank, but if your mind is not good, it's gonna affect everything else. Whatever you have to do, peace, time out, vacations, going to therapy, getting counseling, prayer, praise, medication, or all of the above, at the end of the day, God wants your mind to be sound and your heart to be healthy. We have to turn crushing moments into power. I think God turns crushing moments into power. You either get bitter or you get better. Most people who I've met who have ever done anything exceptional in their lives have come from something horrific in their background. We are excited about what they're running to, but they are fueled by what they're running from.